Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the heat of hydration of cement. So in this lecture we are covering that how the heat of hydration changes with time in the cement. Basically, when water is added to the cement, there is an exothermic reaction in which the heat releases and produces some strength hydration product. So when cement is being added with water, there is some reaction process we call as an exothermic reaction or we call as a hydration process and it produces some hydration products which are basically the strength products producing the strength of cement. So this is called exothermic process or we call as the heat of hydration because the heat releases during this process and we call this heat is the hydration heat, heat of hydration because it is released due to the hydration process between the cement and water producing the hydration products. So now coming to the heat hydration. The heat of hydration is being plotted between the heat evolution on y-axis and time with respect to the x-axis. So with time the heat evolution changes within the cement. You see here there is a quite variation but after certain time after one day 24 hours there is no uh, certain variation in the heat of hydration but it being being constant after one day so now to discuss the different variation in the heat of hydration of the cement the first one is represented by one it's called is the induction period it's called is the pre-induction period pre-induction period So, at this period, actually the C3A components, if I draw here, this period, this period, the high heat of evolution at the start of the cement reacting with water molecules is because the C3A chemical compound reacts with water producing some aluminates. Some aluminates, calcium aluminates are producing, are produced and they are producing very really high heat at the initial starts because C3A components directly react with gypsum uh, components producing some aluminates. So the heat of evolution at the start is very really high and this is due to the C3A components in the cement. And this period is known as the pre-induction period. The second one is called as the induction period. Induction period or also called as the dormant period dormant period and in this period before the hardening of the cement this period occurs and during this period you can place your cement in the building or in the wall of the of the earth structure or in the slab of the structure or the beam before this period starts so this is the period of before the hardening of the cement it's called the induction or the dormant period and after this the after this, you see here, after first it was decreasing to the second and then after second it's again increasing. And why it's increasing? Because if I mention it here, if I draw it here, this period it's increasing and this is due to the C3S, C3S and C2S. These two chemical compounds now start reacting with water producing the calcium silicate hydrates and which are the CSH. And these are the most important strength products. So at this time, which is increasing, it's known as the um, third type of the um, period or in the time in the heat of hydration, which is known as the acceleration period. Acceleration. Because the heat of hydration is accelerating in this stage due to the reaction of C3S and C2S with water producing the CSH, which is the strength hydration product. Now after this, uh, during the 10 hours, this has been increasing and after this, it is again going to decrease. So this period is known as the deceleration period because most of the uh, uh, most of the C3S and C2S compounds have, have been reacted with water and uh, this is now the some of the molecules are still reacting with water producing some heat of hydration and called as the deceleration period. And after this uh, you see here there is a steady state of uh, heat of hydration where there is no sudden drop or change in this period and it's been constant throughout the uh, cement life after 24 hours so we call uh, this period is the steady state period steady state period 
hope you guys understand that how the heat of hydration occurs and what are the different um, uh, changes during the first day on the um, cement reacting with the water hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video